Alright. Sorry, my recorder went down for a second. Alright, um... I forgot what I was saying. I don't think I was saying anything, really. Um... Just exploring Old Town. Keep my gun out. Alright, here's another. Uh... Warehouse? Looks like... Yeah, more people have taken up residence here. And a skag. Does she have anything interesting to say? No, just that she's hungry. Okay. Albert, uh, Albert does sympathize with her, but right now, I guess, um, I guess that kind of influences him. I think he's thinking that if he ever takes control of this place, he'll have to get some sort of, um, food stamp program or something to feed these skags. Let me see a man with a hammer and several guards around him with guns. Alright, let's talk to him. Hi, welcome to Jigs. I've got some great merchandise and stuff. <laughs> merchandise and stock. Feel free to look around. Oh, let's see what he's got. And he has guns. Okay, this is what Albert is looking for. Guns, guns, guns. Oh, and he's got a 14 millimeter pistol. This actually is probably what Albert was uh, thinking of. Yeah, and Albert uh, Albert can trade his uh, his SMG and for that and plenty of ammo. Okay, Albert needs to unequip his SMG really quick, and and we can sell all the ammo too. And uh, get the pistol. How much for all this ammo? Wow, really? That's really cheap. I think Albert is glad that he uh, knows how to persuade people. That is kind of too much ammo for him to be carrying, though. I think he's gonna take off. Oh, whoops. Forgot it's uh... Alright, so he's gonna take off like two. Or more. Alright, put on one more. One more. Okay, I'll give it 35 caps. Oh, also I have the bullets. But I think I want to make one transaction for this and then a different one. Okay, we don't have enough ammo. I mean, we don't have enough money. So. Oh, it's perfect. Okay. So we traded in our SMG for a pistol and 120 bullets. And what about these bullets for those bullets? I actually want to see what else he has. He has a knife. Albert might consider having a combat knife as a sidearm, but once again, he really doesn't like a hand-to-hand -hand combat. And a sniper rifle. I don't think Albert Albert doesn't really like recoil uh, on weapons, and I think he'd be a little scared to actually fire one of these things. Oh, and reinforced armor. Okay, yeah, Albert is definitely interested in this, but he doesn't have nearly enough money. So, he'll remember Jacob once he has a, has a bit more money. And an assault rifle? Three assault rifles. Jacob isn't even asking much for these. But once again, they're pretty, probably pretty heavy. I guess we'll take stim packs. Yeah, I want to keep 20 stim packs at all times. And uh, caps are never bad, so I'll take more caps. 115. Oh, whoops, that's 200. No. There we go. That is plenty. 131 caps and 20. Alright, yeah, I think Albert, Albert is going to like this pistol a lot more than the SMG. And he has plenty of ammo for it. He's not going to run out of ammo as fast either because it's not burst fire. And also... 20 stim packs, 131 caps, mentats. We're just keeping these to get a perk. And then we have the books to pass time. Thank you, Jacob. No, just looking around. Actually, let's let's take a look at this gun. Okay, 12 to 22 damage. We'll load this thing up. Six round magazine, that's not much, but. Yeah, he should be able to take down pretty much anybody he wants with one or two shots. 
And that's the same uh, graphic as the SMG, <laughs> even though this clip is obviously not as long as the SMG is. But uh, that's okay. I'm not gonna call uh, Black Isle lazy. So let's uh, see if there's anything. Maybe he'll recommend us to anybody who has even better quality weapons. Uh, well, you have to probably. Ah! Okay, party first and get out of this. <laughs> I hate the blackout. Okay, probably take out the gunrunners and the boneyard. They'll probably have this, something to suit your needs. I've also heard the guys at the Brotherhood of Steel pack some pretty powerful of hardware too. So you better check them out. Okay, we haven't heard of either of those before, I don't think. Actually, yes, I think one of the caravan people said that, yeah, the guy, the caravan driver that we met at the entrance to the hub was saying something about the Brotherhood that Albert vaguely recalls that they make uh, runs to the Brotherhood. So if the Brotherhood has uh, good weapons, then he might actually want to talk to the caravan drivers, maybe to ride along on a caravan to the Brotherhood. And also, uh, if we ever get a chance to travel to the Boneyard, then we'll go there too to talk to the gunrunners. Albert isn't that interested in weapons, but he'd, he wants to uh, keep safe. Okay. I think Albert is glad that he went there, and he sees another warehouse over here, so let's check this out. And what do we see? Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, what goes on in this building? If you don't really shouldn't... Okay, yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to get into trouble with this guy. Yeah, we'll just leave. Although, maybe we should take a look. Albert isn't really nosy, but I think... Yeah, I'll take a look through one of these. The guys jump up and look through one of these windows. Nope. Okay, never mind. Not too interested. Albert assumes that there's some sort of a na narcotics dealership in there. Or something illegal, maybe. He's a pimp or something. And... Obviously something illegal. And, um... Oh, Albert sees a staircase with the window. Okay, Skaggs, uh, maybe they can tell us, okay. They don't know, they, they have no clue what's down here. Okay, and it's dark. Uh, I know it's down here, so I'm gonna quick save, but Albert doesn't, so I think he's just gonna keep going. Open this door. It's locked, okay, Albert. Oh yeah, so he has a he actually has a decent lockpick for not having learned anything about it. Unable to pick it. <laughs> I can't get it. Okay, there's the spot. We unlocked the door. Okay, let's open it up. And that was easy enough. Okay. And he sees two more doors. Oh, and he stepped on a trap. Oh no. <laughs> It's pretty um, small explosion, I guess. Only hit him for six hit points, but he'll inject the stim pack just to be safe, and he'll keep going. I guess run past it just in case there's more traps, and maybe this door is not locked. Yeah, I guess it was pretty stupid of him to assume that. He's hoping that he'll get this uh, with enough tries, and he did. another trap for one hit point. Albert's pretty brave, he just keeps walking. And in here? It's locked too. The people don't do anything, I guess, and they hear uh, the door jiggling. Okay, it's beyond our ability to pick. And it jammed. Okay. I guess Albert will never know what's back there. I think Albert's gonna remember that door, though. Uh, actually, I think he is going to pick this door just um, for practice. See, so, yeah, I guess he'll keep training lockpick until he's able to pick that door. I guess he'll open it. Leave it open to anybody else who's curious. 
because this is uh, he's hoping this is this will eventually be his city. So he he does want to know every nook and cranny. Nook and cranny. All right, we explored Old Town. And I think it was pretty worth it. I can quick save again, just because. All right, let's put our weapon away now. We're in the more uh, civilized uh, section of the hub, downtown. In the guns, Jacob selection. Even though he is an underground dealer, I'm pretty sure. Although I don't really know what's illegal about it. He has a pretty honest business, I guess. <laughs> Just uh, selling weapons. He he got is kind of making the hub a more dangerous place, but. I'd rather everybody own a gun than some people own a gun and some others not. But, oh, well, I mean Albert would. But mm, Albert would more like um, if it, nobody had a gun than if it, everybody had a gun. Right, so we see that this guy, he looks pretty down on his luck. Yeah, you know, he's li living in a burnt out house. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Oh boy, can't you leave me alone? I have enough problems on my hands already. He sounds uh, kind of like Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. Can we trade with him? Maybe we can help him out. Okay, he doesn't have anything to trade. Yeah, we'll give him a cap. Sure. Um, yeah, maybe I can help you. This is a tragedy, believe me. Nothing is the way it used to be. I used to have a small farm a few days, but a few days ago, a bunch of raiders appeared out of nowhere, and now they use my farm as a camp. They killed Pugsley, my donkey, and they threatened to kill me if I dared to come back. Just tell me where, and I'll take care of the rest. Really? You would do that for me? You know, I don't dare to go back there anymore. Why don't you come back and let me know when it's safe to go back home again? Okay. Yeah, I think Albert is uh, feeling pretty, pretty, um, uh, safe with his pistol. I think he's gonna, uh, Check out, check around for exit routes. Okay, for escape routes. I mean, and I guess he's gonna look for, through cracks in the metal over here. And he sees, he sees a guy with a shotgun. It looks like, and two guys. This guy has a pistol. This guy probably has a knife or something. And you can't see what this guy has. Actually, maybe he'll be able to actually shoot through this um window. I guess they're yelling stuff at him, even though they can't quite get him at, get at him. Okay, aim is blocked. How about now? Nope. Yeah, I didn't really think so. Okay. But we still can't see what that guy has. Uh, that guy, this lady has a knife. This guy probably has a knife, too. So I think what Albert's gonna do is he's gonna initiate combat, then he's gonna... Or he's gonna kick in the door, then he's gonna start shooting. Okay. Oh, I can't. I can't shoot. Our aim is blocked. How about now? He shot him for 12 hit points. And now he's gonna make his way back to the to his exit. All right, that guy has an SMG, or that could be a pistol like his, a 14 millimeter, I think it is. I think it's 14 millimeter. Right, the guy with the pistol shot us. Wow, he did some damage too. Right, so we're gonna shoot and run. I guess walk. I quick saved, didn't I? I think I quick saved a, like, a little bit before I talked to Erwin. That's okay. If I die here, I'm not gonna try again for a while. Um, probably use a stim pack and equip one. And run. Oh yeah, I forgot this pistol only has um <laughs> six rounds, so I have to kind of make them count because I don't really want to waste. Uh, I'm gonna make it look like a cracked pretzel. I don't really want to waste my action points reloading. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. Is he wounded? Is he really wounded? He's really wounded. Uh, I think we're gonna shoot this guy in the head. 
Schade im 